So today I'm doing a fast food tier list. I, I just put all of the ones I never had here already. Um, there's some ones that are down here that like I might have forgotten, um, just like right now. So A and W, there was like a long John Silver's A and W, but I don't remember having specifically A and W food. These three never heard of in my life. Zaxby's is regional. Boston Market is around in my area, but I've never had it. Culver's, no idea. Bojangles, regional. Cookout, regional. Church's Chicken, regional. Checkers, regional. Uh, Torchy's Tacos is regional. Carl's Jr., there's one, I think. No, there's a Hardee's by me. Carl's Jr., I don't think there's any, but I'm not sure. Firehouse Subs, never heard of. Skyline, never heard of. Raising Cane's, never heard of. Well, I've heard of it, but it's not here. Swenson's, no. Jollibee, no. Del Taco, regional. PDQ, Pop Belly, Portos, Roy Rogers, yeah, like these ones I don't know. Shake Shack I've heard of, I don't think I've ever went there. Waffle House I don't remember. I don't know what Wiener Schnitzel is. And then Whataburger's Regional. So that is the very fast, never had. Um, White Castle I don't remember, so I'm gonna say that I not had it. Jimmy John's is, so with Jimmy John's, I like keep telling myself to just go like try it out, but every time that happens, I just don't try it. So I'm not sure what Jimmy John's tastes like. So I'll start from, let's see. So yeah, so th th I think there might be like one in here, but for the most part, this is good. So with Arby's, um, I'm gonna say it's, oh. I'm going to make an eight. I don't know why they, the first, The first tier they have, right, they don't have an A. Like, why is there not an A? Can I edit this? There we go. Oh, awkward. And then this one. It's that. Okay, I mean the color, that, you know what the color kind of bothers me so we're gonna we're changing that so with arby's curly fries they're the best can't beat them but as far as the other food i don't really care for like it's good and if i like i don't think if i went to arby's and i've ever been like this is bad but i just go for the curly fries mostly um so i think it's b tier in that aspect uh burger king c tier for some people, it's probably D tier, but honestly, anytime I get Burger Kings, I'm not really satisfied or dissatisfied. Um, I mean, the Whopper, like sometimes the Whopper, something's good, but for the most part, the Burger King is just like standard American food to me. Uh, Chick fil A, I don't know why people go crazy over Chick fil A. It is good, but it's not that good. I There's a Chick fil A. I never in my life I'm just like I need to go to Chick-fil-A but some people you know they they're in line for like an hour going to Chick-fil-A um, never really understood it I think it's good but I don't think it's as good as people think uh, Chipotle so all those like Chipotle, Cordoba, and Moe's they're all C tier I don't care what anyone says people are gonna get mad I don't really care they're all the same to me I like Mexican food. I like all three of these places, but for the most part, I just don't think any of them are super good. I'm not saying that I haven't gotten Moe's once a week for like four weeks or something. I'm not saying I haven't you know, had Chipotle like one or two weeks in a row, but Cordoba, like there's just not a lot of Cordoba, so I only went like once or twice and it was basically the same thing. So I think Moe's is, better than Chipotle but I've had Chipotle that is better than some Moe's and so the debate between that I feel like is just on did you go to the best Moe's in your life did you go on to the best Chipotle in your life however most chips are awful they are awful their salsa the one salsa is really good all the other salsas I don't like Chipotle, um, I don't remember, I don't usually get chips at Chipotle because it's usually a little bit more expensive just for like the burrito or whatever, so then I just like get the burrito. But 
that is what I have to say about that. Denny's. Does anyone really like Denny's? That's like a serious question. I think Denny's is just D tier. You go there when you're drunk. Domino's C tier. I Domino's is cheap. It is good, but I mean, I'm never like, I really want Domino's. It's more like, I really want cheap pizza. And then you default to Domino's. DQ, never in my life have I said, yeah, I definitely want to go to DQ. Um, it's, it's just, you know, whatever. It's just the standard ice cream. I don't know why Cold Stone's not on here, but, or like the other ice cream places. But I guess, oh, it's because it's fast food, so that's why. So DQ, fast food. You know what? I feel like that should actually be a never had. Because I've had the ice cream, but not the fast food. El Pollo Loco. Whatever I had there when I went in California and had it for the first time, best thing in the world. It actually wasn't the best thing in the world, but it was definitely A or B tier. Um, I'm not going to say it's A tier though, because I've only had one thing there, and it wasn't like it was like when I had In and Out the second time ever, it was like the best thing I ever had, but with burgers. But El Pollo Loco wasn't like that, so I'm going to say it's B tier. I mentioned In and Out, so In and Out is going to be the best. Um, when I first had it, I had the animal fries, the animal style, I mean, the animal style on the fries, and then, um, the animal style on the burger. On the burger was good, but on the fries was not good, because the sauce, there's something in the sauce that I don't like, and so when you put it with, like, a burger and have that flavor, it's fine, but when you put it just on the fries, there's something in it, I can't remember what it is, if it's, like, the, if it's, like, horseradish or something, but I don't like that, um, so the first experience was like, in and outs like, it, it was I thought it was like C tier, but then I had it again without the animal style and I was like, oh, this is like fantastic. It also was just a better in and out in general. Um, most of the time, like I went I went to in and out again, maybe once or twice, and it was the same goodness as the second time, but the first time I think it was just a bad in and out um, experience. Like it was super busy. It was just like kind of, it seemed like everything was just kind of screwed up. Um, five Guys. I don't know why people love Five Guys because honestly, like, Wingstop's on here. Wingstop has like way too much sodium. I Five Guys, I have to drink like three gallons of water after or I'm going to have permanent hypertension. Um, I think Five Guys is good, but there's so much salt, especially on the fries, that I just feel like I'm going to die. So for that aspect of dying, I'm going to give it a C. And I'm also going to give IHOP a C. I mean, again, IHOP's like, you go there when you're drunk and you want breakfast food. <laughs> Jack in the Box. Um, it's, it's, to me, it was just like a better Burger King. And it was really good when I had it. And I did go at like a lunchtime. So like the food is fresh. Um, but Jack in the Box was really good when I had it, and I wish it was over on the East Coast. Um, so all these sub ones, so like Jersey Mike's Penn Station, not Quiznos, nah, we're not, we're not going to talk about Quiznos yet. But Jersey Mike's and Penn Station, um, I did have both of these. They were good, but I'm not a sub person, so they're just C tier to me. If they're there, I'm hungry, I'm getting it, because it was good. But it's not one of those things I'm going to go out of my way to do it. So speaking of Quiznos, I think Quiznos is... And I think nah, Quiznos is kind of D tier. I, I mean, Penn Station Jersey Mike's, I think, is like a higher quality sub. Quiznos is just like, you're hungry, it's there, you, you go. And then Subway... Where's Subway? Subway is awful. Like, Subway back in the day, as in like 10 years ago, was good. But now, Subway, every time I go there, the food is eat like something's wrong. The only thing that's never wrong is the fact that they toast it, because there's a timer. The lettuce is sitting out for three, you know, three hours. The lettuce is the lowest quality lettuce you've had. The chicken's the lowest quality chicken you've had. Or the chicken's been sitting out for three hours. Subway's just awful now. The only reason I'll ever get any Subway is because it is literally the last option and the only option to get. 
Also, it's it's it generally it's overpriced too, so it's like not even good and it's overpriced. Why doesn't Subway just go die and go out of business? KFC. Um, I don't like fried chicken that much, actually, even though I love chicken. But when I get the tenders and stuff, they're really good. Mac and cheese. I don't know what happened, but mac and cheese is awful now. Uh, mashed potatoes is still good, but the gravy is a little weird. So in general, the only reason to actually go to KFC is the chicken. But before, it was like the sides. The sides were good, too. I don't know what happened to it. The sides are poop now. Maybe that's because they were super unhealthy or had like MSG or something really weird in it that you wouldn't expect. Little Caesars is D tier. I don't know anyone who said I really want to go to Little Caesars. I feel like with Little Caesars, everyone just goes there because it's cheap. Um, you need a $5 pizza and you need it now, so you get Little Caesars. Long John Silver's is B tier. I would give it an A tier, but um, it, it's just, I, I, it, it, you, you have a 2,000 calorie meal, or at least I do every time I go there. It's super unhealthy, it's really good, but I don't know. It's kind of disgust. it's like good, but it's disgusting because it's fried. So it's not like, if it wasn't fried, then I would say, yeah, it's like A or S tier if it was that good, but it's just so unhealthy and it is good, but like, I always feel usually awful after. Honestly, I'll give McDonald's a C tier, but lately that I've been going, it's been a D tier. I don't know what's happening, but every time I go, I need to pay like $15 to feel full. That's an exaggeration. It's more like $12. Um, the food is just not that good anymore. The last time I had a decent Big Mac was like in August. And every other time I've went there, it's just not been that good. So with McDonald's, I don't know what's happening. It's going downhill. The McFlurries are still good. The Nugs, I, honestly, I feel like the Nugs are even going downhill. So, like, honestly, I don't know what's happening with McDonald's, but I would say they were an A tier before, like, five years ago. But I don't know what's happening with the McDonald's I've been going to, but they're, they've just been not good. And maybe that's just a thing. Uh, I had New York Company once. It was Buffalo Mac and Cheese. It was not very good. I'm not going to give it an F tier, but it wasn't that good. Um, I think Panda's is a B tier because I actually have to take a nap every time after Panda because there's there is a ridiculous amount of sodium. Um, it's not like Five Guys where like it's it's just literal salt, so it's like okay. Um, but Panda is really good, but it's like Long John Silver's where it's like I understand that what I'm eating is you know potentially going to kill me if I just keep eating this. Panera Bread, not a soup and sandwich person. It's okay. Um, nothing really special about it. Papa John's is awful. Anyone who gets Papa John's, I fully judge you. It is not good pizza. It it also has went downhill somehow. It was bad before, like when I was in high school. It's awful now. It's, it's just the worst thing ever. Pizza Hut. Pizza, I, I think Pizza Hut's the best tasting food chain pizza, um, besides like maybe CC's. But P, again, like Pizza Hut is one of those things too where like I just need to take a nap immediately after because there's just so much sodium and fat and everything. Also gives me weird, uh, weird poops. So Pizza Hut is going to get a C for the weird poops, I guess. Popeye's. I say, the, so the food is a B tier. It could be a B or A tier. But the problem with Popeyes is every single time I go to Popeyes, it, it's just a disaster of a fast food restaurant. The workers literally never give a shit. The only time they ever gave a shit was when I went to a food court. And that's because in the food court, it's out in the middle of nowhere. And I, I guess just being out in the middle of nowhere is good work, is where you get good workers. I don't know. Because every single time I go to Popeyes, it's awful customer service. They don't speak clearly in the mic. They do not hear what I say to them. And it's just, and they never like give me my order right if I ask for something extra. 
So one time, asked for ranch, said it twice, no ranch. One time, asked for fries, they gave me rice. Is that racist? It could have been. I went back in and got my fries. They looked a little confused, so I'm gonna say that it, if it was, it, I'm gonna say it was not racist. But the person who gave me the fries was definitely not the person I talked to on the mic. So you know what? It might have been racist. So you know, with Popeyes. Oh, so another thing too is, unless you're going at a busy hour at Popeyes, the workers don't give a shit. So your fries are disgusting, or they're just like medium temperature. And the only time it wasn't like. It, it was like good temperature was when I just didn't get ranch. So that whole transaction was good. Like they, I mean, they didn't understand what I said. They clearly didn't understand what I said. And then they weren't even speaking in the mic clearly. However, the food was fine. It was just the fact that they didn't give me ranch. Um, Sabaro is pretty good. I'm gonna say it's B tier. It's a pasta pizza place. They have one at Penn State. It's not something you would die for. It's just something that's relatively good if you like Italian food. And I, by Italian food, I mean Americanized Italian food. So everyone's gonna say, what about the Streets and Wawa debate? Honestly, I think Wa I think in, if I had Wawa more, Wawa is really decent. But when I went, um, I mean, it's a gas, it's still a gas station. So like Wawa to me was like the Panera bread of sheets. So like, it just seemed like a fancier sheets, but it didn't mean it was necessarily better. It just meant that like, you're getting a different type of food, right? So like, if I go to sheets, right? It's like you're going to Taco Bell or something. Whereas with Wawa, if you, you're going it's, and you're getting like a sandwich over it, it felt like you're going to a Panera. And so like, I haven't gone to Wawa enough to judge it completely. I've only went once or twice. Um, but all I'm gonna say is both of them are probably restaurants where like, it's what you get. So they have so many different options. I went to Sheets and it had like this disgusting thing. I, I think it's their burgers. Sheets burgers are awful. So at Wawa, there's probably something disgusting you can get there too, awful. And so it's, it, you know, I'm just gonna put them both in C tier because at the end of the day, they're gas station restaurants. And it's not like I've ever went there and I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. It's just something you go to because it's convenient, in my opinion. Sonic D tier. I don't know why anyone would ever go to Sonic. I've never been satisfied by a Sonic. That is the end of that. Steak and Shake, I don't remember. Um, I'm gonna say Taco Bell's B tier. I recognize Taco Bell isn't the best of restaurants, but I love Taco Bell, so I'm just gonna say it's B tier. I don't think it's an A tier restaurant. It's not something that I go back to because it's like quality or anything. It's just because I generally like Taco Bell and I recognize that. And that's the same with Long John Silver's. So I'm just gonna put them as B tier. Wendy's, A tier. There's so with like the Wendy's menu, there isn't something on there that's like disgusting. And I never really realized this, but like Wendy's actually is pretty good. The only time Wendy's isn't good is when you just get really bad management and workers. So Wendy's is good. Like you, you have burgers, you have chicken, you have the frosty. Um, I don't know if they have like coffee stuff because I've never had co that stuff. The chili, everyone likes the Wendy's chili. Um, I think Wendy's in general is just A tier. I'm not gonna say it's S tier. And I'm only leaving in and out for the S tier for like, there's like three restaurants over left. Okay, so wings over, C tier. Wings over is usually in college towns. Wings over is a good wing place, but it's just way overpriced. It's kind of insane how overpriced it is. And I don't know if that's because I'm in like, a place where it can be very expensive and they can do that because people literally can't leave the town that the college is in but wings over is good i'm gonna say wings over is an a a or b tier tasting but it's so expensive it's so ridiculously expensive that i'm gonna put it as a c tier because it doesn't deserve to be in the a or b tier because of how expensive it is because like if you get like a local wing place, 
it stays the same cost, but it, it just it will just taste better. So the last one is Wingstop. Um, Wingstop's B tier. So Wingstop is also a sodium overdose, but I'm willing to get the sodium overdose because it's good. I I mean it could be A tier, but I don't know. Wingstop to me, so like B B dubs or Buffalo Wild Wings is on here. I think Wingstop's Wingstop is the best wings chain. I think so. But that's also because you have to literally die in sodium for it. So let's see. Three, seven, twelve. Okay. I actually. Oh, wait. No. So there's twelve up here. And there's seven down here, and the rest are C. I'm going to leave it, though. I'm going to leave it. There's what you want in a tier. What you always want in a tier list is you want like nothing at the top. And you want the C tier to have a lot of them. Um, in this case, like I'm not a picky eater, right? So it is, it's just always going to be biased towards the B. That's just what's going to happen. So I'm satisfied with the way that I've ranked these. And, um, I am going to assume that someone's going to feel very differently about some of these things, but at the end of the day, this is a tier list. This is opinionated. If you have a difference of opinion, then you can put it in the comments below and we can have an argument about it or whatever. And, uh, thanks for watching.